Hey guys, so this video is going to be how I cleanse my crystals and my tarot and oracle cards. Um, first off, I have some salt for earth. I use the elements when I'm cleansing them. So I have salt and then I have um, white sage incense and then just a white candle and then I have um, water. Um, it's my moon water that I made um, when we had the last, um, it was the uh, full moon, it was the, the blood moon, that really cool moon we had last time. That's the one I'm using. Um, so first thing I usually do is I will take a crystal, and with the crystal, I will put it in the salt, and I like to roll it around. And I'll say, I cleanse this crystal of any negativity with the element of earth. And I'll go to the air. And I say, I cleanse this crystal of any negativity with the element of air. Same thing over fire. I cleanse this crystal of any negativity with the element of fire. And then with water, making sure that it's a crystal or stone that can be placed in water. I put it in there, roll it around. I cleanse this crystal of any negativity with the element of water. Then I will dry off. And then I actually, I take it and then I kiss it. And say with this kiss, I bless this crystal with love and light. So, when I'm using the elements, um, I'm actually cleansing the crystal of any negativity, and then when I kiss it, I'm putting in my energy of love and light. And then when I'm done, I just set them to the side, and I do, I do this with every crystal. So, roll them in the salt, put them over the air, fire, water, dry them off, and kiss and say that. So... Um, with the cards, it's a little bit different. I place it over earth. I usually do both sides. And I say the same thing. So, I cleanse this card of any negativity with the element of earth. I cleanse this card with any negativity with the element of air. I cleanse this card of any negativity with the element of fire. And then I place it over the water. I cleanse this card of any negativity with the element of water. And then I will take the card and I just set it aside. Um, usually, if I haven't cleansed my decks in quite a while, I do each single card. And I know that's a lot because I have, I don't have that many, but um, it's still a lot to do, like 78 cards. Um, but I usually do that just, you know, if I haven't done them in a while and they really, I feel like they really need to be, like, deeply cleansed, like, get in there and clean them. Um, instead, you could take the whole deck and do the same thing and just hold it over earth and then I would say I cleanse this deck of any negativity with the element of earth. Same thing. I cleanse this deck of any negativity you know, the element of air, but I say deck instead because I'm using the whole deck. Um, and then usually sometimes too, when I am doing each card individually, after I'm all done, I'll stack them together and then do one whole like go around. Um, and then with these, I don't usually kiss the whole, um, I don't kiss each card like I do with each crystal, but I'll take the whole deck and kiss it and then say that I um, bless this deck with love and light. Or with this kiss, I bless this deck with love and light. Usually I'll say something like that. Um, what else? And then after I'm all done, I will thank Mother Nature for her elements and then blow out the candle. And then say, Blessed be. And that is how I do it. Um, yeah, so for, I don't, I mean, I have a few crystals, I don't have a whole lot, 
but I usually do each individual one. For the smaller ones though, because I have like, these little ones in here, um, I will put a few in at one time. So like for this one, you know, I'll put them in here. I'll do like three or four and just kind of let them sit in there for like, just a few seconds. And then I'll take this and then hold it over and do the same thing. Same thing. But with the water, if it's, um, you know, it can be put in water, I actually like to put them in the water only because I feel like it just really just cleans them and then it makes them all shiny too and I like the look of them and then I'll dry them off. So yeah, so it's up to you. You don't have to put them in the water. You don't have to put them in the salt. You could just put it over and the energy, you know, will go into the cards. Um, if you do have a lot of decks, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do, I would advise doing just holding it the whole deck because it's going to take you a long time. Or if you just have one deck and um, if you have only just like one deck that you really use or that's the only one that you want, then yeah, go ahead and do each card if it's just like one or two decks. But if you've got a lot, I would just do the whole deck, take the whole deck, go over it. I usually turn them around and stuff. Um, and then also one tip is if you keep your decks in a bag or in a box or anything like that, cleanse those two. So like with the bag, you know, cleanse it how you would the card, put it over. And then the air, what I like to do, I like to actually open the bag and try and get some of the air like actually in it. I don't know, I feel like that just like really cleanses it because I'm a little weirdo. And then I would put it over the fire and then over the water. So the only thing the water actually touches is the crystals. I don't let it touch the cards or anything else. I don't want it to get ruined. Um, and then with the cards, um, I, I keep them in a pouch sometimes or a box, but a lot of times I actually like to set them on my altar and I'll put a crystal on top of it and usually sometimes I'll do like some little crystals on the sides and do kind of like a crystal grid for them whichever ones that I feel kind of drawn to for that deck I'll set them on there and I'll keep it on the altar like that and um, if I have cleansed them not too long ago and say if I do a reading for somebody and then I have another reading to do for somebody, I'll just take the deck in my hand and I'll knock on it three times. And that kind of just cleanses it for me if I don't have you know the time to do like this whole cleansing. Just because I don't like to do readings and then do another one without cleansing it in between because I feel like um, it still has the other person's energy in, in the cards. And when I do readings, I like to really focus on that person and try and get like their energy into the card so that the reading is specified to them. So I make sure I cleanse them after each time I do it, if not afterwards, then before. But I would really say to cleanse it afterwards um, by knocking on them. Just that way it's not sitting on your altar with their energy still. That way it's cleansed and it only has yours in it. <clears throat> and um, you can also cleanse them. You don't have to use the elements. You could also put them um, outside, you know, in the moonlight to cleanse them. And then with the sun, I like to set the crystals on the um, edge by the window during the sunlight hours and let them charge. So when I'm charging them, I'm bringing in the sunlight into them and just charging them up so that way if I need to use them for like for like my third eye or something, it'll be charged and you know super powered and ready to work. And then with the moon, I feel like the moon draws out like the impurities of it. So I like to do both usually. So yeah, so if you guys have any questions on anything else, please let me know. Have a good day.